Why are you interrupting my long rest? I need my spells, Ernie. But Bert, I rolled a 2 on perception during my watch, and the DM laughed. People ranting about their chaotic players. Me, who has nice players who try to engage in my story. People looking for funny memes not giving a shit. Every player's first character versus every player's 40th character. When your players slaughter the skeleton NPCs who are about to give them directions. Paladin. Hey, has anyone seen the Bard or Rogue? They were here 60 seconds ago. The Bard and Rogue. 500 gold deep in an illegal alley gambling game. My boss proud I have come early to work. Me there to use printer for printing character sheets for game night. So you've been playing D&D for over a year, right? Me, that's right. Oh, so you know how it works? Me. What the players think will happen. What the DM knows will happen. D&D players are just a bunch of nerds. 4E is better than 3.5. The modifier belongs in the big box. You better watch your mouth. Me watching another player roleplay shopping for two hours, knowing this is the only time I get to play in two weeks. When the player's paranoia has gotten out of control, the party cast in Detect Evil and Good, Detect Magic, Detect Thoughts, and Dominate Monster. You've gotten this far, might as well like and subscribe. When you get the party to draw their characters, but everyone has different art styles. When the new shy player opens up and gives some of the best RP. Role-playing my character completely trusting the NPC as my fellow players watch in dismay. Metagaming to avoid an obvious trap. Me after crit failing an inside check. D&D players crying because two source books are about to become obsolete. Warhammer players. First time? Where most people think D&D players are dying. How they're actually die. Bring it on! How most D&D groups begin. How most D&D groups end. Your new wizard player has his turn in combat planned out when it comes up and role plays his combat rounds, even to the point of using components over spell focus. He doesn't just go, I roll deception, persuasion, insight, but plays out how his character tries to lie, convince, or how he looks at the NPC with a mistrusting eye. He engages with your world, rolls with bad rolls without getting upset, and always tries to encourage the other players to roleplay with him. Me trying to figure out carrying capacity and encumbrance. Me looking through the D&D classes, knowing full well, I'm going to make another warlock. Hmm. There are two things I know about D&D players. One, they love making characters. Two, they hate when the DM starts rolling dice for no reason. That one player who keeps playing the same exact character, no matter what style campaign you were in. New D&D players when you ask them if they want to use non-lethal damage. Me and my friends playing D&D at a game store, taking turns attacking a shopkeep NPC for relatively no reason. The game store employee standing at the register nearby. When your character is a level 10 and find themselves in a simple farming village, we could rule them like gods. Angry Gods. 
when the dungeon master posts a random funny D&D meme to the group, and the players immediately panic thinking it's a hidden message or threat to their characters. Everyone stay calm, it's just a meme. The party. Shopkeeping? Really? A man of your talents. The retired level 20 fighter NPC. It's a peaceful life. When your players come up with a plot more convoluted than whatever you came up with, so you just roll with it. I was not expecting that. But I was expecting not to expect something, so it doesn't count. When the Barbarian has a plan and wants to lead. When I'm in command, son, every mission's a suicide mission. My D&D character on paper. My D&D character when I play it. You are supposed to open the door, not spend an hour searching it in every conceivable way. World-threatening event I introduced two sessions ago. Me and my players delving into court affairs in the neighboring duchy for an entire session. The campaign. D&D &D players. Why would the DM do this? Showing new players that you can play D&D &D in almost any way you want. Telling new players that your group has the objectively superior playstyle. Require new players to have at least 5 years of D&D &D experience. Wow, you watched the whole video. You gain a level.